I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on a Morris Minor. I open the bonnet with a lever underneath the dashboard. All I'll need is some new oil, new oil filter and spanners. Press the safety catch. Remove the oil sump plug with a three quarter inch spanner. I hope you can see this okay, but I'm going to attempt to catch the oil in this can which I've taken the top off. This will save decanting it out from my washing up bowl. And I don't want to drop the plug into my container. Here it comes. Can you see it? If I had this car on these ramps without the gutter of the road here, that can would be the perfect height to catch it because the wind's picking up now and the oil is getting blown about a little bit and I don't want to get too much on the road. Put the plug back in, now I'm going to take the oil filter off to change it. This is the original style, so it's a nut at the bottom of this cylinder. It's a 916 size this. Okay, it's off now and you might see on my back I can't exactly do this very easily. <laughs> if I drop that in there, <sighs> voila. I could have drained the oil through the funnel straight into the bottle, but this is why I've used an old can with the lid chopped off. This type of paper oil filter is disposable, and it's held into the can with that. I'm also replacing the rubber washer around the oil filter. It's worthwhile not over tightening this bolt because it has been known to break off the thread inside. It's just got to make sure this is oil tight. I'll put the new seal in and hopefully when I fill it up it won't leak. This engine takes six and a half pints of oil last oil change I did, I filled it up, checked the dipstick level. It's not up yet. And uh, I drove off thinking I'd filled it up to the correct level. But it has actually dropped because the engine had been turning round and the engine itself takes up a bit of the uh, oil. So I had to turn back home and top it up again. If you're not sure about the amount you should put in, it's easy to measure using an old milk bottle, sort of a plastic one you get from supermarkets. Um, I'm doing that today because I haven't had one spare to wash out and try out, but uh, six and a half pints of this engine. To check the oil level, I clean off the dipstick with a leaf, pop it in the hole, and the oil level is just below the maximum mark. 